Hey guys, we are live again this Tuesday and we are back from holiday. Uh, I was a bit in Mossel Bay, so we had some fun there in Mossel Bay and Kleinbrock and Harold's Bay and Neisner. So it was great so taking a breather, taking a step back, uh, looking at business from the outside and seeing uh, how it's, what's happening, what happened this year and what can we do in 2018 to take it to the next level. Um, so definitely worthwhile taking a bit of a break, taking a bit of a holiday. So, but now we are back for this week's live session. Uh, we just lost the Instagram feed, so I'll just check here if I can go on the Wi-Fi and sort that out quickly. Um, so yeah, guys, great to be here again. We've got a lot planned for 2018. We actually sat with the team uh, last night till late and we sorted out everything that we need to do for this year. So a lot of things in the pipeline. We've got a few events coming up this year, so live events that we're going to, I don't know if you guys remember the how to start event from last year. It was great, had a lot of success, a lot of people really enjoyed it. We talked about how to start your business. Um, and how to start with your uh, psych psychological journey when you start as an entrepreneur or side hustle or, or your business. And um, then we are also, um, yeah, now we're also going to look at some follow up courses that we're going to do this year, live events. Uh, hey guys, we are back live on Instagram. And um, yeah, so we did the How to Start course last year, and we're going to do some more of those courses this year. And then similarly, we're also going to start doing online courses. So check that out and watch the space. That's going to be great. Some online courses. And then we're going to launch a new course that we're going to give at schools. We present at schools. Going to be great. So we have that in the pipeline. So a lot of big things coming this year. We're also going to invest some more time and effort into video production and podcasting. So watch this space, it's going to be great. Cool, Michael, Jar Jar and Klaus, welcome to the live session, thank you for joining in. So guys, today we're going to talk a bit about uh, what you can do now, early in January, for your, um, for your journey throughout 2018. So what should you do now as an entrepreneur, what should you do now as a businessman, and what should you do now as, um, as your side hustle or, or what you can do. So the first thing you need to focus on is developing yourself. Throughout 2018, you're going to have to have a lot of skills. There's going to be a lot of situations and problems you run into that you're going to have to take care of. So developing yourself and developing your skill set is definitely necessary. So spend some time watching videos, um, feeds, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube of the big entrepreneurs and hear what they are saying and um, follow my videos and stuff every Tuesday and on my Instagram and stuff. There's a lot of good content in there that you can actually apply. And then also invest in some books that you can read, listen to some podcasts. There's a lot of good quality content out there. And I think what we don't always focus on is educating ourselves. Um, because maybe you have a degree and you think that you're finished studying now, but entrepreneurship and business is a full-time learning curve. And you need to be on front of the wave, you need to be on top of your industry and on top of your game. So one thing that I definitely suggest is that you do focus on personal development and educating yourself constantly to make sure that you are on the right track in terms of that, to make sure that you are um, well educated and well prepared for 2018. So, yeah, guys, uh, Armand, thanks for joining in. Um, Yori, Skitter, Dion, um, thanks for joining in, guys. Dinky Toy, another Armand, thanks for joining in on the live session. So, we are talking about what you can do in 2018 right now in January to prepare yourself for the rest of 2018 and what's coming and as we said entrepreneurs 
business people and even if you have a side hustle it's all about being on top of the wave being in front of the wave and preparing yourself mentally and emotionally and making sure that you develop yourself very important hello Dion um, nice to see you on the feed as well so very important to focus on self-development and education so that's the first thing the second thing is to start focusing on your goals so many a lot of people just jump in and say look this is what I want to do this year and they just jump in they have this big goal for example let's say um, one of my goals is to become an international public speaker that's a big goal and that's not something that I can just jump into 2018 and just do okay I cannot just become an international public speaker okay so you need to break that goal down into tangible stuff that you can actually do today okay that you can actually do today um, for example the step below that will be to be a national public speaker in South Africa that's also something that's a bit you know vague and big to just jump into and do but then you can break that goal down into smallest pieces like to be a national public speaker you need a good following so you can create an Instagram page and a Facebook page and you can make some quality content that's something I can do in 2018 as I jump into the year I can actually create proper quality content to, pre to present to my following and therefore build a following I can, um, to be a national public speaker, I will need to be knowledgeable on my field. That's something I can do. I can actually jump in, read a few books, do a few courses, spend some time and develop myself to be knowledgeable on my subject. In order to be a national public speaker, I need to be speaking at events in South Africa. That is something I can do. I can call up schools, visit schools. Um, universities as I've been doing and visit them and talk that I can arrange my own events and that is something tangible that you can do so I want you to take that big dream that uh, when you sat on New Year's and you said look this is what I want to do this year or this is what I want to do in my life take that big dream and break it down into tangible steps that you can apply in this year and that you can actually implement um, without it being a fuzzy furry you know big goal that you can't really necessarily do today so it needs to be tangible it needs to be achievable something that you can do today so take that big goal and break it down into smallest pieces so that's the second one and the third one is scrap your new year's resolutions Okay, um, this uh, over New Year, everybody's like, yes, New Year's resolutions. This is what I want to do. This is what I want to do. From 1 January, I'm going to jump in and just do it. You're not fit enough. Okay, and I'm not just speaking about physical fitness, but that as well. If you're saying, look, I want to become this buff guy in 2018, and then 1 January, you jump into the gym and you just start lifting, you know, 100 kilogram weights. You're either going to break your arm, you're going to be so tired and exhausted that you won't be able to go to the gym for the next month, or you're just going to be like totally lose willpower for it because it's going to be so such a terrible experience. Now, similarly to business as well, similarly to anything in your life, if you're saying like, yes, 2018, I'm going to start my own business, I'm just going to jump in, launch my business, you know, do so many sales, employ 20 people, you're going to walk into some walls and that's going to be an issue because you're not fit enough. I have a lot of guys that I mentor and that I coach um, in terms of starting up their business and then the first day they need to work 16 or 18 hours a day or the first all-nighter, you can see that they're not fit enough. Then they run their business for a month they find out, Yo, uh, I'm not fit enough, this takes too much time, this is long hours, long nights, and they get tired, they get exhausted, and eventually they drop off, and they don't continue with their business. 
So you need to become business fit, financially fit. You can't jump into 2018 and invest 100 grand into Bitcoin because you, you, this is your New Year's resolution. You need to understand financial investments. You need to understand how trading and these type of things work. You need to become mentally fit for the game. So invest small amounts first. Understand how the game works. When you start up your business, start it lean, start it small. You know, work your, yourself into it. When you go to the gym, start with low reps, low weights. Work yourself into it. So I'm saying, throw your New Year's resolution paper away and start with a proper plan. Your big goal, break it down into small steps and ease yourself into it. Build up momentum, build up fitness and at the end of the year, you will be making big investments, you will be running your business and doing all-nighters and working throughout, you will be curling 100 kilogram weights because you will be fit and you will have been building it up throughout the year. So guys, that's my two cents about what you as an entrepreneur or businessman or side hustle can do this month in January in 2018 to make sure that you achieve your goals at the end of the year and have a successful year to look back at. We had some problems on the Instagram feed, so we're going to do the Instagram session now. Um, I'll put this Facebook session. And um, guys, tune in every Tuesday at 3 and ask some questions. Normally we have about between 10 to 20 people on the Instagram feed that ask questions as we speak. Um, today the Instagram feed didn't work so we didn't have a lot of interactive questions. But um, we'll take care of that again next week. Cool guys, watch this space and there's a lot of interesting things coming in 2018. Excited about it.